Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the little word question string to integer. Okay, the problem statement already provides hints for the algorithm, so there is not much to explain. So I wrote down the algorithm from step 1 to step 5. So let's begin. So before we start step 1, so this is a base case. If not s, in the case, just return 0. And we create a int max and a int minimum. So int max should be to asterisk twice and 31 minus 1. And the int minimum should be minus 2 asterisk twice and 31. And so i equals 0. So this is our current position. And uh, we will get um, length of input string. So let's say n equal length of s. And then let's move on step one. So step one. So step one is skip reading white space. So while i is less than n and the current character is white space. So in the case, just i plus equal one. And then if i equal n, that means we reach end of the string. In the case, um, so all characters um, are like a white, white space. So that's why I just return zero. So this is the first step. And uh, let's move on to step two. And uh, check for the original uh, sign, like a plus minus. So let's say sign equal one. And then if current character equal plus, in the case, just i plus equal 1. As if s and i current position, uh, current character equal, oops, minus. In the case, sign should be minus 1. And then i plus equal 1. That's it. And uh, step 3. Step three is um, read digit until non-digit character or end of string. And uh, sorry, let me combine step three and step four. So uh, we will um, execute step three, step four at the same time. So step four is convert to integer and uh, handle overflow. So this is a step three and a step four. So um, first of all, create a result equal zero. And then let's um, step one by one. So while i is less than n and the uh, current character is digit, so we can use like a is digit function. So in the case, um, so we convert current story, uh, current character to uh, like a digit, I mean number. So int and uh, s and i. First of all, create a next digit place and add current digit to result. So less equal less multiply 10 plus so digit. So what I'm trying to do here is that, so let's say current result is 20 and the current result, uh, current digit is 3. So in the case, uh, we want to create a 203, right? But uh, if we just add like a 20 plus 3, so it's going to be 23, right? So it's not the number we want. So we want to 203. So in the case, first of all, we multiply 10 to 20. So in the case, we will get 200, right? And after that, we just add current digit so that we can get 203, right? So I do the... Um, same thing here. Okay, and then after that, if so, we create a, this sign. So sign multiply result is um, less than or equal int ma int ma not max int mean. In the case, return um, int mean. And then if sign 
multiply result is greater than or equal into max. Oops. So in the case, return int max. If not the case, let's move on next character. So that's why i plus equal 1. After that, so last step, return the result within 32-bit signed integer range. And actually, we cover the range here. So actually, just return um, not range, just an integer. So um, just return uh, result multiply sign. So if sign is minus 1, we will return the like a negative number. And uh, if sign is 1, we will return like a positive number here. So actually, that's it. So let me submit it. Uh, so I found a stupid bug. So this is not minus uh, equal. Yeah, so let me submit again. Yeah, looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be order of n, where n is a length of input string. And uh, I think the space complexity is O1. Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. Please support me with the actions such as comment and the hitting like button. I'll see you in the next question.